Hello everyone. Welcome to this episode of TFS Christmas. The Flying Scotsman here and today I have something pretty damn special for you guys and pretty unexpected. It's an early Christmas present from my former flatmate. Now she lived with me in 2011 and not long after she moved in she got this beast of a machine for not much, well, not much, not much longer after she moved in. And what this is, is a Dell XPS of some sort. I, d I don't know what it is. <laughs> I don't know the model number or anything. All I know is it's a Sandy Bridge i Three. I thought it was an i7. I don't know why I thought it was an i7. Has Windows 7 on it <clears throat> and uh, THX because apparently the audience is listening. And it's a Dell and it has a nice card reader up at the top and I believe a Blu-ray drive somewhere in the middle. Oh, I'm not sure about that. Oh well. So, here it is. It's, um, like I said, it's a Dell XPS. Has, um, no PS2 at all. Oh, it's a, it's a Dell XPS 8300. And it has. It's. Spdiff. It also has HDMI, um, SATA, uh, eSATA, US, two USB 2 ports, I'm guessing that's uh, display, but it's blanked off, another two USB 2 ports, Ethernet, 7.1 surround sound, two, well, a uh, graphics card with HDMI display port and two DVI. Not sure what card that is just yet. But um yeah. And then on the fr and then uh, here you have two more USB ports and um I think a headphone and microphone sockets. Here you've got <laughs> More USB ports and um, a drive blank. That's where a floppy drive could go if you wanted one. I love that. <coughs> kind of soft eject. Look at that. And there's a receiver here for something else. Not sure what. Could be a wireless mouse and keyboard. Could be uh, wireless internet. <clears throat> could be anything. Let's find out. Buffalo. Could be wireless. Um. <clears throat> Oops. And then here we have. Oh, it's a Microsoft receiver. Well then, there you have it. <laughs> but uh, this is a Buffalo receiver. Probably just going to use my Netgear receiver if I'm honest, and I can use the Buffalo receiver if um, with this Dell here. <coughs> now the reason this is here is because, and despite the i3, I think this machine is better. So what we're going to do is gonna, we're going to transplant the SSD out of here and into here. So. Without further ado, that's what I'm going to do. And that was Tina in the background. Tina gets a stake in this too, because hopefully at some point, you know, we're planning to move in together, and then we're hoping to kind of strap this to a TV and use it as a gaming PC. So I'll probably put a 2600 in there, because those will be nice and cheap nowadays. 
Well, I'll have to buy it before March the 29th because Brexit. Now, before I can really do much with this machine, I'm going to need to retrieve the SSD, so let me do that. So guys, the uh, SSD has been removed, and we're going to now install it in here. Now, apparently, there's a couple of phrases I say a lot in my videos. I say, there you have it, which I got from Elmo3. I say, having said that, which is one of my own. But there's another one that Tina can't remember. So, listen out for Tina going, that's the one, as I record. And the first one to get it wins a virtual cup of tea. Made to perfection. Virtual mind. So, what we're going to do now is we are going to go ahead and install a shed. So, how are we going to do this? I don't know. But uh, we'll find... We will find a way. So, the SSD is mounted, albeit a wee bit squinted. But, hey. Does not really matter. So, the idea now is... Um, I'm just going to plug... I'm just going to plug it all in. It'll be fine. If I can get the bloody SATA cable to work it well. There we go. And uh, <clears throat> you know what? I think I need to. Like this one first, isn't it? <coughs> there we go. And then I have room to add a hard disk should I want to. One final oops a daisy. Um I think it goes here. Do you want a cup of tea, please? I would love a cup of tea, please. Oh yeah, that's the other thing I say. Want another cup of tea, please? Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, ladies and gentlemen, my good old friend Tina, always offering support. And if she can't do that, she'll offer a cup of tea. And then she'll offer a cup of tea if she's offering support. And then sometimes she'll offer support without the tea. But mostly with tea. Because she knows I like tea. 
There we go. And there we have it. That's the wonky SSD installed. Upgrading your internal storage doesn't need to be difficult. You just need a crucial SSD. Right enough, there we go. Right enough. That's something I say right enough. Right, someone else picks up on that right enough. <laughs> but she didn't like it. <coughs> so there you have it. Right enough. That's the other one. I remember L. I remember L. Mal three once uh, did a thing where he combined UXW Bill's minds and his things together to come up with. Suffice it to say, having said that, there you have it. And then now we have a nice big screw to go in there. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I said screw. <laughs> Yeah, I am. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, well. I talk nothing like that. <clears throat> like an Elmo 3 versus an Elbud video. Here we are, one Dell XPS 8300, hopefully with a shed that works in there. So I have the Dell plugged in, but is it all plugged in correctly? Well, let's power it on and find out. She roars into life. There we go. Oh! It's an i5. It is an i5. I thought it was a. I thought it was a very least an i5. Um, it's got two, uh, four gigs of DDR, thirteen thirty-three megahertz RAM. Why did they put an i3 stick on it? Yep. So we have um, SATA zero. Crucial SSD, nice. Um, yep, and it's all working. CPU configuration, active processor cores, all on its CPU ID value. CPU XD support, Intel to speed stoop turbo boost, nice. Now, onboard audio controller on, LAN controller on, SATA mode AHCI, ESATA port enabled USB, onboard card reader. Hmm. 
There doesn't seem to be any There does not seem to be any UEFI support on this machine. I would have thought that being a sandy bridge, it would have had. Maybe, maybe the BIOS is too... <laughs> BIOS is maybe too old. Well guys, weirdly enough, um, <clears throat> this system for being an Ivy uh, Sandy Bridge machine, does not seem to support UEFI. That's the first system of the system's age that I've seen that doesn't. So it really, it really does kind of show. It really um, does kind of show that um, you know, even if something carries a um, high-end name, so to speak. It's not necessarily a high-end system. Well, the Dell, I believe, is pretty much set up as far as I'm going to take it just now. So let's um, let's power it up. Now, bearing in mind, we are using Legacy Boot because, for whatever reason, it will not support it. <laughs> But the SSD still seems to be nice and fast as ever. Boom. Never mind Discord. Let's um let's put Netflix on and we'll do what we did last time. Whoopsie. Well, Mender Pig's ear that had to send into Discord, but um <clears throat> Letters pop out from a white background, then turn red. Netflix. There we go. So it seems to um Seems to be nice and quick, does this machine. Now, I'd love to show you some games, because it is a gaming machine. So, here's Solitaire. Yeah, I know, I've done I've done this one before, but still. The AMD Radeon 6770 is um, really working nice and hard to push all these pixels onto the display at the same time. <laughs> ah, jings. No, I think I'm going to take that one. Uh, yep. Thanks for the wrong cards. Well, that went well.
Yeah, I know how to play the game. Also, I'm really quite tired because I didn't sleep much last night, which is a shame. But, hey ho, what can you do? Well, there you have it. This is uh, Solitaire and it runs beautifully on this computer. And that is a good thing. So, I think I will end it there. And I'd like to thank you all for watching this video. And I hope you'll all join me for tomorrow's video. Which I have actually filmed. It's, um... What I plan to be doing tomorrow is taking you all... Well, Tina and I both will be taking you all on a festive trip to the Aberdeen Christmas Market slash Winter Village slash whatever the hell they want to call it this year. So please join us then and remember to wrap up warm. But for now, thanks for watching this video and I hope you all join me for my next one. Cheerio, bye.